Hey Morning Mana family, welcome back to day four of our week together. Each day we've taken the time to reflect on what we should be thankful for. You know, in the Bible from beginning to end, we are commanded to be thankful. In fact, thankfulness is a natural outflowing of a heart that's attuned to God. We read in Psalms, sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. In Colossians, it says, be thankful. A spirit of thanksgiving is the mark of a joyous Christian. And we should be thankful because we've been blessed by God. But unfortunately, this life has been marked by suffering. I don't know about you, but this life can be really hard. Losing my dad almost five years ago now was and is very hard. Those three months in the ICU were a nightmare. Not having him here to walk me down the aisle or to meet my sister's two month old little baby, his first grandson, is very hard. Having to watch my mom live in heartbreak without her other half is very hard. But God has been with me and he's been with us. In the midst of our trials and suffering, we can still be thankful. We can thank God because we know that he has promised to be with us and that he will help us. We know that he can use times of suffering to draw us closer to himself. In James, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. I'm reminded of one of my favorite songs that was recently released called Bless God by Brooke Lidgertwood. Some of my favorite lines of the bridge go like this. Bless God in the fields of plenty. Bless God in the darkest valley. Bless God when my hands are empty. Every chance I get, I bless your name. Bless God when the weapon's forming. Bless God when the walls are falling. Bless God, cause he goes before me. Every chance I get, I bless your name. Bless God, for he holds the victory. Bless God, for he's always with me. Bless God, for he's always worthy. Every chance I get, I bless your name. Brooke explains that when we bless God, we're not adding anything to God or giving him anything because he lacks something. He lacks nothing. Our God is utterly complete. Rather, when we worship him, when we declare that he is worthy to be praised, even in the hard times, we are aligning ourselves with the truth of his worthiness of all praise and honor. We are rightly seeing the true order of things. We're aligning ourselves with reality. And when we align ourselves with that reality by declaring his reign and his worth, bringing him thanksgiving and worship and sacrifices of praise, we're also entering into communion with the Father and participating in the relationship for which we were born. Thanking, blessing, and glorifying God is a pathway to the gift of his presence, the preciousness of his nearness, and the unspeakable treasures of joy therein. Regardless of what is in front of us, God is always on the throne. Our circumstances don't alter his goodness, and for that, I am eternally grateful. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. I'll see you then.